sometimes you need to know whether an expression is either true or false. And this is when the Boolean data type comes in. So you saw that before you saw this value true and you also saw false, right? So you saw these two values here, so true or false. So these two values are used when you want to know whether something is true or false. So just to give you an example, let's say that we want to print to the console. We want to say whether 10 is less than 10, for example, right? And remember maths, so this is the uh, less sign, right? So the way I remember these signs is this one right here has like a L shape and it means less basically. So we want to know whether 10 is less than 10. So this will give us false in here. You can see that the result is false. So we can also use 10 is less or equal to 10. So this is actually true. You can see that this is true. So here, let's have a couple more examples. So print, and then let's say zero equals, so we can say two equals to check whether uh, two values are the same. So zero is equal to zero. Let's say print, and then 18 greater than five. And we can also uh, say print. And remember our example, we had Jamila. And then if I say dot, and remember the method that we use ends with, let's check whether Jamila ends with, and then have single quotes in here, and then S. Yep. So if I take this line, so I'm just going to command C, command V, so copy and paste, and change that to A. So if I run this, you can see that we have true, 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 false, and then true, right? So these are the expressions. So 10 is less or equal to 10, it is true, zero equals to zero, and let, let's just change this to uh, one, for example, right? So zero equals to one, this will give us false, 18 is greater than five, Jamila doesn't end with S, right? So this gives us false. And then we have Jamila ends with A, of course, she ends with A right here. Uh, well, actually the name Jamila ends with A. So if I save this and then run it again, so we have false in here. So this false here is for zero equals to one, which is false. So there you have it. This is how you have expressions. So these are expressions that return true or false. So these values, for example, if I say is and then underscore adult, so I can actually store the value true in there and then is teenager equals to and then false. So I can store the values true or false in here, right? So I can also print these and we'll get actually true and the value of false. But these expressions, they give us this data type right here, which is Boolean. So a Boolean is a value that represents true or false. Next, let me go ahead and show you why we have this Boolean data type.